Hello, my friends. My name is Ibi, and welcome back to 30's Total War Divide and Conquer, where I'm playing as Rune. So, this is the first day of my return from not recording for about over two weeks. Actually, it's my second day because I tried to record this episode and it completely screwed up and uh, I couldn't use it. So, anyway, um, yeah, I've been away for a long time, so I'll talk through that once we get into it. But. We're going to try and move on a little bit and try and bring, bring you an epic finale. I don't know if this will actually be the finale. Last time when I recorded this, it, I actually ran out of time in an hour's episode. So, um, basically, what I said to you guys last time was I was going to have like some epic fights with the Golden Armies because I have a couple of Golden Armies dotted around the map now from spending some time off camera, recruiting troops, moving them to places and so forth. So, of course, our Kand is near Celeberg. He'll go and take that. We have an army of Druhar, who's very near the Dwarves, and I want to try and push into Khazadum, if I can. And then back out, we've got two armies that are actually right next to Ker Andros. And I want to take Ker Andros as quickly as possible. So, uh, there's Henneth Anun as well, actually. We could go for that. Henneth Anun would be nice. We have too much cavalry though, I just realized I have so much cavalry in these armies. Our enemies will suffer. And I can't move units out, How may I serve? which is an issue. Yes. Your enemies shall fall Sieging the walls. Oh, that's I will noble one. We can't attack Henneth and just yet, and I need to put units in that army, but I will afterwards. Uh, so let's start off by making Orders. sure we've done everything correctly. Yes, noble one. Move you guys out. We move orders. I'm gonna attack Celeberg and try and take them back. Let's see if they come and attack enemy. us. And we we're gonna attack the dwarves. Orders. So Lord Thrain, the honorable. We'll go and attack you, you my friend. Now he doesn't have anything spectacular. Um, he does have a dwarven catapult and a ballista. They need to be taken care of ASAP. But apart from that, nothing else really stands out to me as something amazing. So I think we'll be fine. What is he himself? A zenith guard. Right, so let's go in and we will try and defeat the dwarves of Kazadu. So, um, yeah, I didn't record for about two weeks uh, because I was busy finishing off my studying. My deadline is over. I got my results today. They were very, very good. So that's uh, a really good positive, I guess. And uh, I'm really behind on my recording schedule, so I'm really sorry about that. But uh, there's not really too much else I can do. Uh, the reason why it takes me so long is because I don't study like a lot of normal classes because I don't do that kind of course. I uh, study graphic design, so uh, everything I do is quite creative. Uh, so the process for studying is a lot different. It's a lot more creativity instead of uh, reading books and so forth and gaining knowledge, even though you do gain knowledge from it. Um, so, it takes me quite, I have to work up to the deadline essentially all the time and I can't like study in advance and then uh, be done with it because there's always small things here and there that I need to change to my finals. Um, okay, so we have three units of cavalry and then our general. So on one flank we will put our two units of Loke Ines Rim, and then on the other side we'll put our bodyguard and another unit. And on that same side we'll keep our chariots, and that'll be Swell. Is that everybody? So, I want to make sure everybody's spread out. They're down the hill. Ooh. Ooh, no. I want everybody to run as quickly as they can. I want to bring my chariots round. And I want to bring my bodyguard here. We have two chariots. We have two chariots. I'm going to be a bit sporadic today. But here we are. Let's slow it down for a second. We can see the golden army in all of its glory as we march towards the dwarves. We'll try and take them out as fast as we can. So cool. Not a huge roster, but really cool. Now, I'm going to try and get these catapults and ballista kind of uh, out of sync and kind of confused with my cavalry, so. 
that's what I'm gonna try and do. Everything's moving really quickly. As you can see, they've left this flank like right open. But I'm gonna go. Oh, they're gonna fire. They're gonna fire. You guys hit. Oh no, it's still blocked. Oh. Oh dear. Um Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on guys, I'm gonna have to like stop the recording and start it again. Okay, so I'm back now. Um, yes, yeah, so essentially my uh, recording button's F6 and it turns off this menu. So uh, <laughs> that happened in the last episode as well. So uh, I'm kind of glad it failed in some ways. Oh, they're completely out of whack. Hold on. This also happened last time. Let's get you guys lined up like this. Boom. Apart from that, no more micro. No, they keep going around, keep going around. Just stop them, just stall them, just stall them, just stall them. Yeah, go for them now. Boom, catapult, or ballista, sorry, engaged. Go for their ballista as well. Bring you guys down. Catapult, use round, bring use round. So as you can see, we've managed to hit their catapults. We'll do as much damage as we can. And then we'll bring in no our pikemen. Come down quickly. Go round, go round, go round, go round. Five percent killed. Right, bring them out as they've done their job. Actually, we'll go for a nice clash here. We'll go for a nice clash. So here, attack from the front into the zenith guard. Their defense will hold them, but an attack in the rear should start to cause some casualties for them. And then we can bring our two units out. Our lines are holding. Push forward, my friends. Now we can pick apart. Oh, that Sons of the Fallen. Go and hit these dwarven engineers and their dwarven travelers are nearby. Oh, we lost quite a lot of cavalry in that engagement, I'm afraid. Dwarven sentries, it's fine. Dwarven engineers, it's fine. These units will be quite good. I don't think they'll be able to defend as well. Oh, what a hit. There, that dwarven unit has been crushed. I just sent them into the back of a pikeman unit, didn't I? Yep, I did. I wondered what sentries were. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing is what you're doing. Right, I'm gonna let them meet my line now, and then we will engage them. Oh, we're doing fantastic right now. Kazadum Reclaimers, bring our general up. Dwarven Volunteers, so now our flanking men are coming in, which is fantastic. Oh, the Zenith Guard are coming after our chariots. Let's see how they fare against the chariots. I don't know, they could do very well. Oh, they're getting arrow fire. Oh, crushed. Let's get our chariots out of there, get out of there. You've knocked them down. You've killed quite a few of them as well. Good job. Oh. Some of the fallen. Let's go in for another strike, I think. And we'll go into the back of them. Here, I'll show you this quickly. Here they come. 44 of them, we killed a couple of them on that last charge. And on this charge, even more death. Down to 36. <laughs> this is just cruel, isn't it? Poor, poor, poor dwarves. Let's go for the four archers, take them out of the fight. Oh, that was a very good attack. Oh, I don't want to lose any more. There's 14 of them. 
33 now. Let's go for another attack into the Zenith Guardsmen. Only half the enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will. I can't believe they're doing so well. I think it's because they have a general, a good general. I think once he dies, everything will be swell. Go for the Dwarven Cat's Ball. Don't let them get back to it. Going for them, please. We're going to the Claimers. How well are we doing here? 27. Let's get out of there. Go, 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 go. Move before they can hit you. Get out of there, get out of there. Okay, the Dwarven Catapult won't last very long. Um, in the middle, they're actually doing quite well. So it's time to get our cavalry out. Let's get our chariots in there. Going to the Zenith Guard, please. There's 26 of them. Our cat... No, catapults. Our chariots will do a lot of damage here. There we go, here we go, here we go. That's how you disrupt the lines, boys. How you doing? Go for the shield bears. Oh my god, they're gonna get totally slaughtered here, but it'll be so funny to see them go into them. No, we lost one. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Twenty-one. There's four of them there. That's pathetic. Get out. Missiles, fire on this unit right here. I want to see you do lots of damage. Come on, get out of there. Go, 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 go. This unit is being picked apart by archers. Come on, men. We can do better than this. Here we go. Here's a nice volley. 99 of them. How many can we kill with a single volley? Even if we kill 10, that's pretty good for uh, the amount of armor they have. There's 15 of them. We've lost 20% of our army, and they've lost 84%. Now, uh, the Dwarven army is actually quite impressive, so you would expect to kind of lose this amount in a battle like this. Yeah, very, very much to be expected. Uh, the fact that their leader is not dead is an issue, though. He is, however, being... Well... Uh, sliced to bits. Sliced in half. Carved. Many other synonyms to do with cutting things. <laughs> right. Uh, they're starting to shake now. Now they've regained themselves. They're being completely surrounded, though. 72 of the Legion Deeping Guard. Our arrow fire, right? We have, like, what? How many archers? One, two, three, four, five. We only managed to kill about 40 of them. Alright, this is obviously not working. It's literally just him. Go. Kill him. Come on. I want this charge to go through his face. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> he got killed the right in the end. Lies dead. Now his men can sense their doom upon them. Okay. Now finish them. 22%. The routing almost wavering. One charge in the back shot. Oh, they routed beforehand. Finish them all. Die. Fantastic. Good micro and a good fight, I think. What's left of them, actually? What's still fighting us? Something is still fighting us. What is it? Ah.
and you. There's always one archer, right? One archer that will give me problems. Speed it there. up. Nope, you're gonna die, my friend. They run like oh, you'll get shot to death. Scour them from yeah, the he field. did get shot to death. Great. Fantastic. Is that everything? Nah, I'm not even kidding you. Like, everybody, like, kill him. We lost, like... Great victories are like sweet nectar. Come, let so us lost drink 400 of the most men. That's not too bad. Fruit. Well, how many did he have? 1,600 dwarves. So, not bad at all. Evenly across the board, we did a lot of kills from every unit. And, uh... The top goes to the Loke Ines of Rim with 156. And then followed shortly by the Loke Flag. Fantastic. So, I'm quite happy with that battle. We've got 17 minutes in. See, the problem is, we need to capture places. And I really feel like we won't be able to do this in like an hour. Um, which is the amount of time I wanted to put on this. Ah! Most got two rounds just in case. Orders. I think we're at an end turn, I believe. Besieging this place. They will relent in this sea. Yes, noble master. Oh no. See, I have to At actually once. go round to attack. I can't attack from the side. And I can't yes. reinforce him either. So, I think we are at an end turn. I'm really not focusing on my economy anymore. It's all about capturing places. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, I think we're about to get attacked near Selberg. Uh, it's a shame that I've already played ahead. Of course, I, I didn't manage to take all three provinces, so I'm not that far ahead. Uh, but a little bit. It's good to be back playing. Oh. Now the army is there. How many turns can they last? Six. Now I can't go in there and kill them uh, by themselves, but I can wait them out slightly. Uh, the Dwarven army, however, I probably can attack. They do get some defenders. And we do have a lot of archers, again. Which is an issue. Same army we just fought. Uh, what have they got? Legion Guard. We'll be going across that tiny, tiny bridge. I'd rather they came out and attacked me. That would be great. That would be fantastic. And of course Our you have got will turns. None of them Now I can move us. some units out. To battle. I am eager so to now. I just Tell moved me, I out said, five. Yes, so we can put five in Order. of course. So one, yes. two, three, Tell four, five. Orders. Orders. And the cavalry as well. Tell They're me, not sir. useful but we can use that. Joining the reds. I would love to take this army in as like um, a reinforcing army because. Our armies. Yes. Oh. Our enemies will suffer. Right. So let's see. Weakening. This battle will take quite a long time because it is the siege of Ker Andros. Let us save our game. Uh, let's Why not? And the game crashed. Towards the end, I hit like the 50 minute mark and it crashed. Uh, so I'm gonna probably leave this battle for the moment. You think, right, that this army would be quite easy to kill off, uh, but no, because Kerandros is a, it's a, a two layer siege. It's got two different walls. So I'm gonna leave it for the meantime. <laughs> I just don't have the strength in me to what fight it again. In fact. I still want to wait for Celeberg to come and attack us, or the Dwarves to attack us, or Gondor to attack us. Maybe they'll come out and do something about it. I just, I just can't. I just can't attack Kerandros again right now. We'll wait and see. There's going to be lots of edits in this episode. Aha! So here we are. We're being attacked by a gentleman. Captain. This captain here. Reese's Winneth. Well, let's save the game as Rune 18 again. Um, let's go back in. Uh, so, Huntmaster Bjorn, the chivalrous, 
Uh, he's got a pretty big army. Uh, that is, yeah, their, their army is about twice as big as ours. Almost. Um, and... Yeah, so we're gonna have to do quite a lot to take them out. But, they are the Vale of Anduin. So we'll take Celeberg, and perhaps we'll take the Dwarven Settlement. I don't know how long this will take, we'll see. I feel like there will be a final, final episode after this. To capture the amount of provinces that we need. Uh, which means it will end on a, an odd episode, episode 19, but that'll be it. Um, so, let's see. Ah, okay, right, so. Our main priority right now is to set up our men like so. I didn't even look at that army actually. The army, uh, we have a lot of generals bodyguards which I'm quite pleased about. We can just spam them in this fight. Our foe brings more men to the battle. Uh, right, okay. I'm gonna march you guys up. We're gonna take the hill. Uh, and as for our friends in front of us, you guys are gonna be killed. Now, I, I thought a bigger army was gonna come attack us, actually. Hence the reason why I brought these guys, because there's no way we could even attempt to win without um, more, more men. Of course, this is the only army that has this many generals. The other ones do not contain that amounts, so uh, don't worry about spam. I don't like I don't like spam anyway. Uh, it's just sometimes in a campaign you have to use it. Like at the beginning of this campaign, I kind of had to use it. Cut off the oh, head. what a glorious Kill charge! Great, good Let's job. See how these snakes fight without their head. Uh, now, right, I wanna pick this army apart with my cavalry. Which just kind of shows you how <laughs> overpowered they are. See now their pikemen are... They don't know where they're going right now. They don't know where the charge is coming from. And they're dead. <laughs> oh, glorious. Go for them. Go for them. Go for them. Long woman. Woodsmen are charging our front line, but they cannot reach it properly. Made of clay. We oh. are winning the battle. How dare you! They're doing quite a lot of damage to our archers, actually. Oh, you dare get another char- Oh, no, they are. It's just our archers that got killed, though. 4% of our archers. And they are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. They're broken. That should be the end of this first army. Okay. Bring you guys. We want to fight on this hill. Bring you guys here. We'll assess the damage after. You can see the bodies. I believe we have chariots. I completely forgot we had chariots. Chariots will be very useful. I'll let them route up the field. They'll have no home left to go to. Routing. Routing. So... Oh, right. You guys are getting up. So we lost a fair few. 4%. Um, excuse me. Please move into position. So here they come. Uh, they have cavalry over there, so let us take our generals. We'll walk them back as they're warmed up. We'll give them some time to relax. Let's get them running again. They're making a beeline for our infantry. Oh, what is going on here? What is this? Why? I told you. 
to set up in a certain way and you just won't do it. So they're gonna come for us. I didn't turn these guys on the thingy as well. Take the Bjornings. See the Bjornings? They are... Yeah, they have a two-handed weapon and not that much armor. So, that should result in lots of nice juicy arrow kills. Well they obviously blast. know that their uh, cavalry is doomed. They've already lost hard. 20. It just can't compare to our cavalry. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're falling like flies. Dropping like flies. One more volley, lads. Go against them. Oh my god, right, let's get our cavalry out of there. Oh my god, they're doing a load. Oh, our poor archers. Oh, they're rushing into our line. Where's our cavalry? Where did they end up going? Oh, what a lovely charge. That did a lot of hurt to them. I wonder where the actual general is. Oh. Oh, no, good job, good job. You went right through them. Enemy general fallen, that's their captain, I'm afraid. Go for the Whitman's warriors. Go for them as well. Go for them as well. This unit here is about to get creamed. <laughs> if that only that killed them all. It didn't even it didn't even make them scared, I'm afraid. Oh, here is a good charge, though. Breaking their lines. The skin changers are in the back of us. Hit the skin changers. Hit the skin changers, my friends. You're going to hit them right in the back. You're going to do so much damage if you hit them in the back. Victory is well within our grasp. The time our foe will surely see this and lose heart. Yeah, there's 39 of them. They're already starting to take a lot of punishment. 38. Just need to keep going. 29 of them now. What is it? 28 to 53. We're doing swimmingly. Swimmingly. Oh, here comes a good charge. So our chariots will come in for the first barrage. They will go through our men. And then our cavalry will come in. Hit them in the back. Only half the enemy force there remains. There we go. We must pray they lose their will to fight. The skin changers are losing their will to live. There's only 17 of them remaining. Our dragons, wrath, guildsmen are uh, not doing very well, but uh, move them out. Okay, if you guys are fine, we'll bring you around now. 33%. Uh, for a Vale of Anduin army, it's putting up a very good fight. But remember, this is their faction leader. He's very powerful. And skin changers are some unit that you don't really want to mess with. They are a very offensive unit. And uh, are able to output a lot of damage. Okay, let's keep going. Fire. Come on, men. Skin changers are heading for my cavalry now. I think they're getting a little bit tired of being killed. He's running away. There he is. That's him there, I think. Yeah, there he is. Here. He's right here. 
He's, le he's leaving his men. He's leaving his men. I'm not gonna let my uh, my own men feel the pain of that. Oh, what a lovely barrage of arrow fire. Five of them. There, come on, that was a good charge right into him. Come on. Is that not him? Well, he's not dead yet, so obviously not. The Dragon's Wrath Guildsmen have lasted so long, they are certainly fighting them off very well. Come on, come on, come on. One charge, one glorious charge. No, he's getting mixed up with his own men. Yes, 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 yes. The enemy there we go, the he's dead. Drive these vipers okay, his army better. should mass route right now. Yep. Mass routing. Mass routing. And mass routing. We've done it. If he was to have been killed at the beginning, straight away... We would have won this much quicker than we did. Uh, but it's okay, because like this is the last time this army really needs to be used. So them from let's the speed everything up. Really good, really good. We're only halfway through this episode then. Fantastic. Didn't take us as long to do this one. I don't know what we're... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's the reason why this game has not ended. Ah, seven. And now there's two. And now there's one. And finally, after one last volley, there should be... Still one. Now he's dead. I'm sorry. He didn't last very long. The day they were born. Oh, oh a heroic victory with 424 losses. Triumph. Oh, our war chariots. I think they got completely annihilated. Yeah. None healed as well, I'm afraid. A lot of casualties across the board though for our opponent. 215 kills from the war chariots. Well done, and you're still alive as well. That's a commendable effort. Okay. Oh, my neck's stiff today. Eh. Eh. I'm gonna go to bed after this. It's one in the morning as I'm far behind. Ah, uh, excuse me. 1999. Selberg is now ours. Victory! Victory. Oh my god, I'm at, like, I wonder what uh, the chariots will be like in Moria. I just realized. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Karas Valdrum. Now, let's see. Is Gondor going to put any kind of offensive up? Our enemy, yes, noble master, yes. None of them shall escape us. Oh, we can bring him out. Lifting the siege yes. The mercy, our enemies would not show. Right, let's do it. Rune 18. I, uh, I really would like to bring you the siege, but it, um, it's not fun. It's not fun to play, for one, and it's not fun to watch. Uh, because they have uh, ballista towers and the towers are actually ridiculous and the way your men work on the wall is not very nice so okay this map doesn't suit what's going on but uh, well Karyandros should be behind us shouldn't they uh, but yeah so basically your units just get slaughtered by these um, ballista towers and it's, it's just not fun it's not fun to watch and it's really annoying because you can't do anything about it as a player uh, you can try and take the walls. Um, also, your rams and towers will get destroyed. I tested it <laughs> to see. Uh, so, yeah. It's just not fun. Now, the army we're actually fighting against should also come behind us. brings more men to the battle. Oh, that's so unfair. Look how like close this map is. 
It's unfair for our enemy, because they're gonna get ravaged. Okay. No. I'm just gonna move my army over once. And then I will get to work. I just wanna make that one command order first. Uh, because this army in front of us is literally going to be charged. <laughs> no easy way to put it. They're gonna be charged. And hopefully they'll bring their cavalry for some kind of relief. Now, of course, they could flee off this map, which uh, is something I don't want them to do, uh, but it is possible. Oh, we're about to, we're about to hit them already. They don't know what to do. They can't even fire, they're in shock. Oh, uh, now they're picking their targets. Oh, let's see what happens, right, when our chariots hit them. Turn around. Man, they're already dead. Ah, uh, yeah, this unit here is already broken. They're cats. <laughs> it's destroyed. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. I think they've lost all their men. Okay. Bring in the units through. Bring our units through. Are they fighting to the death? Yeah, they are literally fighting to the death. Uh, quickly. Get into your lines quickly, men. Run, 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 run. Get into position. Go for the Lebanon Marines. Stop them from firing at me, please. Uh, cavalry. You will be used now, General. Alfast and Ulfang are the names of the two generals I picked for uh, the siege of, well, Terran Cross, but the battles for Gondor, essentially. And um, they are uh, quite cool, I think. I think the names are really nice. Let's, uh, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Let's do this. Cavalry v Cavalry. Might v Might. Oh, Jesus, okay. Go and help your brothers. Don't let them die. Oh, you can go against the Swan Knights. And you, I want you to go after the general. Where is our general? Oh yeah, general v general. Might v might. Bronze v bronze. Although they're being idiots. Okay, come on, don't don't shake. Are you serious? Okay, now we're winning that fight. It literally said for a minute there that we were losing that fight. Okay, here comes our men now. Just an absolute charge. Oh, here comes the charge of our Virag warriors. Go to them, please. Their general is dead. He will not survive that. Axeman of Lasarnik, that's an actual general. The Gondor cavalry is being slaughtered horribly. And Jesus Christ, there was, right? I'm not even kidding you. There was like 13 of them. And this was a full unit. And uh, they've just slaughtered us. Okay, that is um, undeniably overpowered. And that is a bad decision as well. I don't know why that happened. I don't know how that happened. We must be slaughtering them over here, though. 
We're gonna lose that unit. I don't care anymore. Um, I think it's quite interesting that they lost, actually. In some respects. Just finish him. Finish their general. They have two. Um... Only half the enemy force remains. Good, 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 good. We must pray they lose their will to fight. How many of them is left? Twenty-four. They've unbeen they've been undeniably awful. Right, go finish off this over swan. Should have sent my chariots to begin with. The chariots will mop them up. Here they come. Charge! One of them died, but they also died. Okay. Oh, sorry. Push them back. Are you serious? Like, what is going on here? Are they gonna go for it? Arm archer, sorry, or something? They're just gonna get shot to bits here in the back. And in the front. There we go, here's a nice volley from both sides. Here comes the back shot. Here comes the front shot. Only one volley, I'm afraid. Yeah, they lost a fair few of their men doing this. Get away from them. They must be pretty much dead by now. Oh, we managed to get away from that fight as well. Their general, of course, is being stubborn as always. And I don't know where he is. He's over here. As one. As soon as he dies, I think things will go well for us. Oh good, they're dead. Get away. Go, 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 go. Go for the Fort Archers. No, go for the Thillian Rangers. No, you can go for the Thillian Rangers. Sorry, and you can go for the Fort Archers. As they're still alive. 14%. Okay, I thought we lost a lot more than we did. Okay, no. Our general will not die in this battle, stupidly. I won't let it happen. Here they come. Axemen of Slarsana being charged. There we go. Brilliant. Oh, he's routing. No, no. Kill him. Kill him. Yes, well done. He's dead. Oh, last skill. Oh, and the runic horn sounds. Let's hit them in the back, lads. And then we'll finish this. What is going on here? What are you fighting against? It's one man. It's not like he's a fountain guardsman or anything. Oh, it's an excellent of the sign. Okay. Here comes an epic charge. We're still fighting things over here. Is he not dead? Where? Is there? Oh my god, he's been over here the entire time. How has this happened? How did we? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's dead now. It's all over. He died. And with that, a great victory has been achieved today. Oh, come on, I can't hit him. Okay, where is everybody else? They run so like children. Oh, there victory we go. Is ours. A victory both righteous and well deserved. It cannot be said otherwise. Okay. We'll just continue on. That's that done. So we've captured two 
out of three. Oh, I could end this right now, couldn't I? I think I could end this right now, we'll see. The one last siege. Die. Yes! Karen Ross is ours. We showed the enemy no mercy. Our enemies will suffer. Noble one. Oh my god, that sound. We close for battle. Oh, here comes a massive army. The stack army has come, guys. Um, let's see. Uh, what should we leave behind? An arch unit? Yes! Look at that! Kerandros has been taken, and the city of Minas Tirith is being attacked. Uh, right. We shall end this day as victors! I think they'll come and attack us. Right, let me end one more turn though. Let me just save this quickly though, because I have a feeling that it will happen. I don't want it to. I have a lot to edit in this video, so I feel like I might uh, stop it 10 minutes early of the hour and leave Minas Tirith to the next battle. I think that'd be quite cool. Oh, I forgot to check my victory conditions as well. Uh, but this has been fun. Crashes have not been fun, uh, but this has been fun. So. Yes. The clans of Inichwire. Principality of Dol Amro. Oh, he's come to face me. Steward Denethor. Our enemies will suffer. We'll take you, mate. We'll take you. I don't care what this army is. We'll take you. An honor to serve. I wonder, right? Yes. Moving over. Yes. None of them oh. shall escape us. Oh, this could be it, lads. This could be it. Oh, man. We could bring out the two armies. Fight them all. That might be it. Yeah, I'm going to save this, and we're going to do that next time. We're going to take Minas Tirith. That'll be the last place we need, isn't it? We need 40 regions. So our last battle will be that battle for next week's episode. Um, and then the wars, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be back next week to bring you the last episode of Rune. I promise it will be the last episode. Um, so, apart from that, thank you guys for watching. And uh, that is me signing off for now. <laughs>